Hello again, my name's John, I'm a retired chef from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video. And in this one I'll be making this delicious scotch broth. Now traditionally it's made with mutton or beef, but we like it made with chicken, so that's what I'll be using in this recipe. And in the very next video I'll show you how I make these fantastic sourdough dinner rolls to go with this delicious soup. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. Before I go any further I'd like to give a quick shout out to this week's Patreon and Paypal donators and they are Tim Griffin, Nick Hale, Simon Evans, Ronald Shelby, John White, Francis Burton, Elizabeth Shaw, Marcia Beaulieu, Dave Halsall, Amy Weaver and Christopher Matthews. And I'd like to give a special mention to one of my youngest fans, Oliver Hart. Have a wonderful day, Oliver. Thanks again, guys. I really do appreciate all your support. And with that out of the way, let's get on with today's recipe. Ok, start the recipe by chopping and dicing all of your vegetables. And if you can, try to keep them all around the same size, approximately 12mm, that's around half an inch. And when it comes to dicing the potatoes, you can make those a little bit larger. Now this is quite a large recipe, so feel free to adjust it to whatever suits you. For example, you can easily half everything. I like to make a large pan because I freeze most of it in separate containers. When it comes to the parsley, you can use either flat leaf or curly parsley. I'm using flat leaf, but whichever you use, make sure it's finely chopped. Right, I'll give that a good mix with my hands and that's all of the vegetables cut. And that was the hardest part of this recipe done. And this is such a simple, easy, cheap and satisfying dish to make. And I think everyone, young or old, should know how to make a pan of broth. And it's especially good on a cold winter's night. And this is another great use for a shower cap. It saves wasting on plastic wrap. It's not just handy for proofing dough. These are on sale in the website shop too. It all goes towards keeping the channel going. And now onto the chicken. And like I said earlier, this soup is traditionally made with mutton or beef. But we like to use chicken as it cooks quicker and it's not as greasy. So cut your chicken first into strips and then dice them as shown. And soon as you've finished with the chicken, make sure you wash and sanitise everything before moving on to the next stage. This will greatly reduce the risk of cross-contamination. Right, over to the cooker. And start by heating the vegetable oil in a large pan. And once the oil is hot, add the chicken and stir fry until the chicken pieces have just about turned white. And this helps separate the chicken pieces. Next, add the 100 grams, that's three and a half ounces of pearl barley. Now you don't have to soak this barley overnight before you can use it. All you do is gently boil it in water for 10 minutes and then simmer it in the broth for 45 minutes and then it will be completely cooked. So all I do is add it to the pan and mix it with the oil and chicken. Add a half a litre of water from the main recipe and crumble in the four stock cubes.
And the final ingredient at this stage is to add the half teaspoon of salt. Now give that a good mix until all of the stock cubes have dissolved into the liquid. All I do now is put the lid on and allow it to gently boil for 10 minutes. And after about 10 minutes the barley should have swelled a bit and the liquid should have slightly thickened. OK, and the next stage is to simply add all of the chopped vegetables. And finally, add the rest of the water from the recipe. And if you're following my recipe, that should be one and a half litres. That's about 2.6 imperial pints. And now is the time to give it a quick taste. If you think it needs more flavour, just add a couple more stock cubes. That's totally down to your personal taste. Now give that a good mix and bring it up to a gentle boil. Once you're happy with it, put the lid on the pot and simmer for 45 minutes. And while that's cooking, I hope you don't mind if I give my very first recipe book a bit of a plug. The book has lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in it and is available in the channel's website shop along with loads of other equipment I use in the videos. It's just another way you can support the channel. I leave a link in the description box below the video or just click on the eye icon top right of your screen if you want to order a copy today. Right that's the 45 minutes up and that's it. Your scotch broth is done and ready to serve. And the aroma that this is kicking out in my kitchen is absolutely wonderful. There's nothing smells better than a big pan of scotch broth on the hob and freshly baked bread in the oven. Right, I'll fill a bowl and give it a try. And doesn't that look amazing? And so simple to make. And that's it, that's all you have to do to make yourself a nice pan of broth. And as we say up north, there's no easier than mucking a pan of soup, man. And for safety reasons, don't try that accent at home. Don't forget, my next video is how I make these beautiful sourdough soft dinner rolls and they're an ideal accompaniment to this scotch broth. OK, I'll try a bit of that chicken first. And it's wonderfully tender. And now some of that broth. And that is truly delicious. And this always gets a big thumbs up in our house. And once again, please consider supporting my Patreon appeal for as little as $2 per month. Or if you prefer, you can make a one-off small donation using my PayPal page. It really does go a long way towards ingredients and production costs as every penny pledged goes back into my videos. And whether you've donated or not, thanks again for your wonderful support in watching the channel. Well, thank you again for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in the kitchen and bye for now.